Here we have a 2015 Yamaha FZ-07, or as it's called in Europe and the rest of the world, MT-07. We just got this. See, tag still on the key. Key goes right here. You got off, you got a lock position, and you got a parking brake position that leaves on light. So they make sure you don't push it in and go too far to the P. The mirrors are nice and wide. They let you see behind you really good. The fuel tank is 3.6 gallons, 14 liters. And there you go, has a fuel gauge, gear indicator, your neutral light, blinker, left, right, off, high beam, I guess it won't come on with the bike off. We'll go ahead and start it. Starting is a little different. We just pulled this, that is off. That's, I guess, kind of on, that's on. And pull down, start it, starts right up. In neutral. to high beam, see how the high beam indicator comes on. You got your horn. You got your flasher switch to uh, flash your high beams. As you can see, the light comes on when you do that. You got your hazards. It's right here. Your kill and start, throttle, of course, adjustable uh, brake, front brake lever. This is non adjustable, that's one downside. Smaller hands. I'm used to riding, so not a big deal. Uh, very quiet. The silencer is very silent. And let's see, let's cycle that back through. Like I said, just got the bike, so don't know everything. You got your clock up here, your fuel gauge, your gear indicator, your speed, your RPM. And at 70 miles per hour, it was at 5,000 RPM. At 55, it was at 4,000, which I guess is good. And click through, it's 86 Fahrenheit. 167 Fahrenheit, that will speed the bike temp. Average miles per gallon is 48.5. There's your MPG, trip two, trip one, and odometer. Okay, so 30 miles are on it.
starting off again. The only line that it's permanently in is this red line built into the display. Um, the seat is nice and wide. I had about 20 mile commute home on this and it's nice and wide so your weight distributes. It's actually, it seems like it's thin. But that should work for more, most people. The trunk, the trunk size, the key is in the right below the crotch area. I'll have to set this down to do it. So it's a, it's a pretty small trunk. Um, extra plug here. Have to look in the manual. Don't know what that's for. Uh, a hook. He said this is to hook on. Hooks to the bottom of the seat and I guess it loops out. Uh, somehow you're supposed to use that for your helmet. Just carry the helmet around so it doesn't really matter. So, I mean, it's an okay size. You can show some extra gloves. I'll have to play around and see. I don't think a visor would typically fit in there. Curved now. Bottom of this has some tools, Allen wrenches. Um, probably a socket of some sort. There's the straps, he said those hang out that you can hook the wire to to have your helmet dangle. I don't like my helmet dangling, so I'm gonna put this back kind of on an angle. Let's see if it'll be the... I haven't done this. There we go. So once you get those two hooks, hit it down, good to go. Pull the key back out. Yep, that's attached. And what else? So it's real smooth, real quiet. Um, picks up and goes. It's not bad. It's 689cc is the uh, displacement. We're probably going to get like, I notice in Europe they have a windscreen already so we'll probably get a windscreen that goes right here we'll probably also get the uh, nicer levers we don't typically buy parts for bikes but just because having an adjustable clutch would be nice Let's change those out they don't look badly priced if I recall correctly on the Yamaha site it's like 189 or at least the site the dealer showed us. Uh, the windscreen is on eBay for 109. One of them I saw just a quick search. So I'll probably get back. This bike's not for me anyways. This is my wife's bike. So it's low seat height, which is good. I'm I'm 5'11, 5'10, 5'11, something like that. So I can flat foot it. However, I'm used to riding off road, so it doesn't really <laughs> matter to me. This is how it looks sitting on it. So I'll probably get some GoPro video, take it for a spin, and post that up in a separate file, separate YouTube uh, video. Uh, it did seem like this would be decent to work on, or easy to work on. I have to look at the manual for valve adjustments, but here's some close-ups of the engine. It looks like this. Just pull the tank, and there's no frame above, so it looks like easy access to the top of the engine. You know, you can reach in there, so pretty good room. There's the rear shock. Also, the European site for the MT-07 sells 
a uh, different peg lowering kit, you know, to change all that around. Um, wife said it worked for her, so I'd probably just leave that. But that is an option over in Europe, so I'm sure you can find somebody selling it here. The passenger peg. Right, rear brake uh, fluid reservoir. You can also buy a uh, billet versus plastic radiator, shroud, guard. Yeah, we'll just leave it for now at least. And the front tire is a uh, 120 70. Bridgestone Battleax BT023. I always like those tires. Bridgestones in general. It's always what I used to buy when I had street bikes. And the rear is a 180 55 17. coming off of that frame slider. Oh, uh, it'll filter is easy right there. Uh, coolant reservoir right there. That might be nice to have. Um, plastic. I'm sure people will come out with more parts for this as as it's on the market longer. Pretty much it. Um, my first a really nice bike, a really smooth bike, a really good bike for a commuter, which is what the wife is going to use it for. Um, and we will, I will report back in time. You know, I'll do a video. I'll wear my helmet with a GoPro, get a little video so you could hear it better and uh we're not here it's pretty like i said it's pretty quiet um that's that's it for now so stay tuned for more to come